In Tennessee, Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn. Senator, I'll follow up with what we just heard there from your Republican colleague. Are you being kept in the loop as far as what this administration is sending over and getting in the hands of those Ukrainian fighters? In briefing after briefing, we ask for a timeline, Sandra, to know what is going in. Right now, they're supposed to be getting kill systems into Ukraine. These are your short-range missiles. It's the Humvees. It's the switchblade drones. Those things need to go in quickly. Ukraine still needs those MiGs. We need to make certain that they have the opportunity to have what they need to defend themselves. And that should be a, listen, there's no excuse for just not getting this over to them. And they need to pick the pace up and they need to let us know when this goes. And we've asked for that timetable. The administration says that it is. So when you say that you keep asking for briefing after briefing, are you somehow uh, led to believe that we are not sending what we say we are or not getting it in the hands I, of those I fighters? I think it is, it needs to go quickly. And um, my concern is that it is not going fast enough. So we need to know what is what has actually made it into Ukraine, not what is on the way, not what is in Poland or some other country, but what we have been able to get to them on the ground. Um, the Wall Street uh, Journal editorial board is writing about strategic defeat for Putin this morning and saying Ukraine is not yet a strategic defeat for the Russian president, saying right. scenes like those in Bucha, Mariupol and Kharkiv will have to inform the extent of Ukrainian Western cooperation with Putin, even if he withdraws from all of Ukraine. Is the U.S. really going to work with the Kremlin to implement another nuclear deal with Iran? The West's goal, the board says, shouldn't be some abstract strategic defeat, but an actual defeat that is obvious to everyone, including the Russian uh, public. I know you've probably had a chance to see this this morning. The piece in the end makes the case that as long as the U uh, Ukraine is willing to fight, that we should be doing everything we can with NATO to provide all the military and sanctions support that it needs. Do we need to get tougher when it comes to sanctions, Senator? Oh, yes, indeed. We need to be tougher. With the uh, economic sanctions, there should be sanctions on Nord Stream 2. Sandra, the way that Putin is able to finance this war is because you've got France and Germany and other EU countries that are still buying oil and gas from Russia. Russia is a big oil depot, so they need to stop buying from them. We need to pick up our production here. We need to go back, return to being a net exporter of oil. And you have to increase these sanctions. You have to make certain that our allies and our partners are not buying mm. oil and fuel from Russia. That is going to be an imperative and go back and put those sanctions on Nord Stream 2. What would send the fastest message? Mm -hmm. Putting sanctions back on Nord Stream and saying, we're not gonna let you do this. But some say that wasn't even a revenue source to begin with. The gas wasn't even currently flowing. Are, are, are you saying Nord Stream or Nord Stream 2? Because that, that, that was not money in Putin's pocket to begin with. Well, Sandra, what it does is to provide certainty as to where we're going to be. Hmm. And that is vitally important to do. Let me just end with this, um, asking about what we just heard from President Biden this morning. We are about to hear from him. Different topic could take questions, though, specifically when it comes to Russia and Ukraine. And uh, his national security advisor will be speaking at the briefing about an hour from now as well. President Biden said that Putin should be held accountable. He should face war crimes. And he also called for more sanctions. What was your response to what you heard from President Biden? President Biden, Biden is late to the game. He should have been doing this. He should have had proactive sanctions on last fall. He didn't do it. Uh, Nord Stream sanctions should have been there last fall. Didn't do it. So what we know is that, yes, are there war crimes? When you look at what is happening in Ukraine, the mass graves, the atrocities, the deaths, uh, 400 people right there around Kyiv that we know civilians that are killed, the fact that they've been carpet bombing and hitting these churches and kindergartens and hospitals. Of course, he needs to be held to account for this, for the crimes, for the genocide that he's carrying out against the Ukrainian people. Yeah, the images coming from there over the weekend. They're just heartbreaking.
awful mm -hmm. um, and hard to look at. Um, and yeah. we continue to report on it. Senator, appreciate your time. Thank you, you very much. It. All right, Thank we'll you. see you again soon.